Hello everyone, my name is Adrian Perez, and today I'm tuning in here from Momos de Nago, Guatemala, here to provide an update on the incoming project that we have here with Pachmanamak. So I've already spoken with the director, Cesar, at the school in Pachmanamak, and the project that I would like to present today is constructing a kitchen at the school. So now why a kitchen? Well, a new initiative that has begun here in Guatemala that was started through the government is that all these middle schools now have to provide cooked food for their students which is an amazing idea, I love it. And exactly how does this initiative work? Well, the government, they send menus to each school, you know, monthly, and it has a list of all the food that they need to provide for the students. So now once the schools have the menus, they are then in charge of going out and buying the food for the month for the students, and then they provide the receipts to the government to then be reimbursed for the food. And so with this initiative, it's gonna affect not just the students, but also the families as well. So how is it going to affect the students? Well, first off, they'll receive more food throughout the day and they'll have more energy, which is, you love to see that. But the, an often case here with the students in Pashmanamak is they have to get up super, super early, hours and hours, you know, uh, they have to get up super early just to walk hours and hours and hours to their school just to receive their education. And they're already getting up so early that they don't justify getting up even earlier to cook themselves breakfast. So, you know, with this initiative and with, you know, the food that's being provided, these students are now receiving breakfast and they don't have to worry about providing themselves with breakfast because it's already at the school and they're starting the day off right because we all know that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Now, how is it affecting the families? Well, oftentimes these families here in Guatemala, they're big. They have more than just one child at a time. And so you think about it for a couple of children, two meals a day, five days a week for nine months, which is the length of the academic school year, these families are gonna save so much money throughout the school year. And then they'll also save time because they don't have to get up as early to cook for all their kids because that's what the school will be doing. So these families will be saving food and time as well. The only issue now with Pashmanamak is that we haven't really been able to take full advantage of this initiative because of the absence of the kitchen. But Pashmanamak, they're a community that's still resilient and um, adaptive. So what they were doing in the past is that neighbors from the school, they were cooking the food for the students and then they were distributing the food to the students at the school. And you know, these neighbors, they have such beautiful hearts, beautiful souls. It just became a problem for them because now more time was being spent, you know, cooking the food for the school and less time was being spent on their own fields, on their own crops. And then they also had less time to come to Central Momos to sell their own produce. Right, so it actually became an issue. But, you know, again, Pashmanamak, they're adaptive, so they have moved on from that. So now what they do instead is they have weekly meetings. And I was lucky enough to attend one of these weekly meetings, but what's happening at these meetings is that the parents are traveling down to the school and the food is being distributed to each family. So the director sets out, he has the name of the students and he essentially hands out a bag, which is an equivalent amount of food for the students for the week to each family. There. He's given it to the families, and the families are then traveling back, taking the food with them. And, you know, the whole point of this initiative is to save time, right? Save money, save time. Families are already saving money because, you know, the food's not coming out of their pocket. But now they're wasting time because they have to travel, you know, weekly to the school. And it's, it's just not a good use of their time, right? So with the kitchen, we could fully take advantage of this initiative to where it's impacting this entire community, the students, the families, and it's making lives a lot more easier for everybody. It's alleviating, it's alleviating some of that stress that can come with life, right? And so here I have a few photos of what a kitchen would look like after the post-construction. Um, essentially, this kitchen, it's gonna have, it's a, it's a giant room with the plancha in the middle. And essentially, that's what they use as a stove to cook the food on, and this is what the kitchen's gonna look like. All right, so the photos I have here, they are from another school, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what this kitchen would look like and essentially the dream that Cesar has for this kitchen and for his school, for his students and for everybody that, that is affected by his, his institution. You know, uh, so it's, I, I do I want to report some good news that we have already received some donations on behalf of the kitchen. And so now the amount that we need, that we have left to fundraise is $2,500. So with $2,500, we could fundraise the rest of the kitchen and then we could start construction and getting you know, this, this kitchen 
you know, well and live at the school and fully taking advantage of this initiative that was started by the Guatemalan government. So my name is Adrian Perez and my information here is at the bottom of the screen. If you guys have any questions or can, you know any questions about this project, about the process, or if you'd like to donate to the project, please reach out to me. I would love to address any questions. I want to thank you guys for tuning in today, and I'll see you again at the next project update.